What is happening guys? It is Dan and I'm back for another review. For last one of the day, I've done quite a few today, but I usually sip them, put them in the fridge, revisit them later after I'm done with all the reviews. It's a review heavy day. I gotta take my shot when I got it, guys. Coming from La uh, Little Beast Brewing from Oregon. So this will be my second beer from them. It's called the Pine Top. We've embellished our favorite West Coast IPA with a heap of fresh hops, Centennial Mosaic and Chinook, amplify the lush and resinous character of this PNW native. So again, guys, this in Colorado, part of the Colorado Beer Hall. Uh, obviously, Oregon beer, but we're not going to get this probably ever again. So let's try it while we've got the opportunity. 6.4% ABV. 9224 is what I'm going with. That seems to be the canned on date. Uh, let's check this one out, guys. Uh, I did like the first one from them. Let's see if this little bit of a, almost a big brother to the other can be better or worse. Let's see. Good pop. And it is all the way from Colorado, guys, in Michigan. So as I pour it, it looks very similar to the other, but a little bit more saturation. Still kind of clear, actually, which I like to see these days. Again, seems to be a West Coast beer. So it looks the part, maybe not this like orangey amber beer. It's got this like more golden yellow light, almost lagerish hue to it. Uh, looks good. Look at that. that looks good. I'm in the darkness over here too. This looks really good, guys. A uh, nice little foamy head sitting on top, very subtle, uh, tamed. So let's get an aroma on the pine top. I'm kind of excited to try this one for some reason. Oh yeah, it, it's grass, it's dank. Um, Fresh uh, cut grass clippings. Pretty earthy. Like there's like there's dirt, there's soil, there's grass, there's grain. Uh, subtle, slight honey maltiness to it as well. A little bit of white bread. A little bit of like grapefruit marmalade. Um, hop oils, uh, oils from the grapefruit. A little bit of tangerine zest. Lemon, lemon peel. Maybe even like a lemon lime, potentially. <clears throat> this smells good. It's, it seems more bold than the last one. That, that uh, wet hot beer at 5.2, maybe a little light. <clears throat> I could have potentially overrated it a little bit, but it was a breath of fresh air at 5.2%. This smells really good, but grassy, grainy, earthy, slightly dank, um, and hoppy. Pine cones, pine resin. Actually smells really good. A um, little bit of hop candy in there as well, guys. Fresh hop. It is the Pine Top IPA. Let's get into it. Cheers. Let's go for it. Floral bomb. I mean, there's a little subtle, like, too hearted in there. Less malty. Um, floral, grapefruit, zesty, citrus. Um, again, earthy grass clippings. Uh, grainy, vibrant and bright, still dry and slightly resinous, piney, bitter on the back end. Is that even like a real sentence? I don't know. I'm just like putting words together incorrectly. But those are the things that come to mind, guys. So yeah, West Coast bitterness, but not too overpronounced. Like I feel like there's really good balance and drinkability here at 6.4, uh, which I really like this range. 6.4 is like a perfect range of ABV for me, especially when you throw some hops into the mix, make this thing a little hoppy and poppy. Hoppy and poppy, hashtag hoppy poppy. I like this. Mm -hmm. A little bubble gum. A little mosaic, like blueberry fruity sweetness. I guess I'm going to call it blueberry bubble gum sweetness. Uh, it blends in real nice to the like grassy, slightly herbaceous, like earthy dankness on the back end. There's a lot of things going on here, like really well balanced, kind of intricate, uh, but subtly drinkable at 6.4. Really good balance, great drinkability, uh, and good hot profile all the way from start to finish. Uh, it's not leaning too hard in one direction, maybe more floral than anything, attributed to that uh, Centennial. But again, not as malty as like a two-hearted, not even close to as heavy as a two-hearted. Uh, I actually really like this uh, profile here. Like really bright and soft in the beginning. Again, the, the grassy, um, piney bitterness, like it, it starts to kick in and it kind of offsets some of that sweetness. And again, I feel like that drinkability is really freaking good and it's clean. Like this is a clean beer for as like uh, pine resin and grassy and, and floral as it is. 
This beer is dangerously drinkable at 6.4, and it, it drinks like a clean lager with just a huge hot profile, guys. Really good. This could be like one of the better beers I've had in a minute. Uh, as far as non Pliny, <laughs> you know, like I feel like ever since I drank Pliny, guys, I'm dead honest. Uh, I probably rated it incorrectly. That was probably a five out of five beer. Um, realized it after I kept drinking it, and I was like, where is the ABV? It's not there. Eight percent went down like butter. Uh, so this one, 6.4, drinking like like Pliny, like Pliny clean, uh, but that hoppiness, just boom, boom, boom. Not nearly as hoppy as a Pliny, but giving you the idea that it's still hoppy. It's got this uh, uh, complexity to it. It's it's still got all these different profiles coming in to collide together, but in a really nice way. Perfect marriage, marriage and harmony in this beer. Hop oils, grass, earth. Floral, slightly zesty, dry, sweet fruitiness, juicy blueberry for a moment, gone. Drinkabil drinkability and cleanness. Whew. This beer gets better. It's really good beer. Really good beer. Probably my favorite non-OG, like, yes, I can't wait to try Pliny. No, we got something new we're never going to get again from Little Beast. And I really like this Pine Top IPA. Uh, rating. I love West Coast beer. Remember. This is clean, it's dangerously hoppy, but dangerously drinkable. Four, two, two out of five, yeah. Yeah, I like this beer. Super clean and drinkable. Nice hot profile, guys. 422 from Little Beast Brewing. Thank you so much for being here. Till next time, cheers, Prost Yama. It's been another review. Peace out.